Well, as we continue to learn the latest developments on Ebola, health care providers in our area are adjusting their preparedness plans. We wanted to find out if all health facilities are equipped to handle potential Ebola patients. Local 15's Christina Zverjeko breaks it down for us. Tonight, Christina, who's ready and who's not? Well, Greg, we've heard several times now that big hospitals like USA Medical Center are ready. They have a plan. Now, what about smaller communities like Fairhope Thomas Hospital here? We talked to them th today, and they said they have a plan. This is the hospital that this community uses, and they rely on us to be here for their emergency care. Julie Rowell is the chief nursing officer at Thomas Hospital. Just like many across the country, she recently made Ebola preparedness a priority for her staff. We've actually been rehearsing um, actively that plan. You know, in the emergency room, that is the, we think, is going to be our highest probability of where a patient would present. The ER training comes at a time when urgent care facilities across our area are directing their patients with Ebola-like symptoms to the hospitals. The problem is that we don't have the isolation equipment necessary to prevent spread to other people. That's where the difference between urgent care facilities and emergency rooms, including those at smaller hospitals, comes in. The emergency room staff has been rehearsing putting on protective apparel. We will isolate the patient. Training with this protective gear and special equipment has become a daily routine for staff at Thomas Hospital. But because of the constant developments with the virus, it's a routine that they don't want to get too comfortable with. I feel that, you know, we are prepared and we will continue as things develop to modify that plan to make sure that our staff and the other patients that are in the hospital are as safe as, as they can be. Now we continue to hear that other than proper equipment, patient screening is the key for everybody to staying safe and healthy. Live in Fairhope tonight, Christina Zvercheko, Local 15 News. Christina.